tips. Tips from the pros to elevate your boating experience. Presented by Pro Tabs. Tame the waves. You know, if you're an angler of the north, and especially around the Great Lakes, you need a boat that performs as good as possible because it's inevitable. You're gonna work all week, it's gonna be beautiful out, and when you have time to go fishing, there's gonna be a 15 to 20 mile an hour wind and the conditions are gonna be rough. And one of the things that truly helps you out a lot, um, as long as your boat can handle trim tabs, is the use of them. And we've used Powertran Pro Tabs now for quite a few years, and I think that the whole trim tab situation, and most of these big deep V fiberglass boats, uh, you know, you can put tabs on now, but it confuses some people in, in the actual use of them. So what I'm going to do here is we're actually out on Green Bay and there's a decent chop right now and I'm going to kind of explain with the use of the Powertran joystick which I really really appreciate the use of these tabs. It makes it very simple to understand. You literally can see which way the boat will tip depending on the direction that you move the tabs. But I'm going to show you as I'm running and quartering waves which way you want the boat tip because I think more than anything it confuses people and it intimidates people on the use of these tabs. So the first situation I want to talk about and probably I feel like the most important situation to use trim tabs to the best extent is when you're dealing with quartering waves, especially if you have to quarter into them. And so for this specific instance, I'm going to be quartering into waves that are coming from the starboard side. Okay, so I want to make a straight line and these waves are going to be crashing into the front corner of the boat. Now typically without tabs, what boats like to do if you're quartering into them is kind of fold down into those troughs and you end up beating up your boat on the front right side. But let me show you here with the use of tabs and using them to quarter waves how this totally changes the boat's attitude. So, so here's what we did. We're actually running right now and like I said those waves are quartering from the starboard. So what I did is I went on the joystick and I tipped the boat away from those waves because what I want is that boat to tip so those waves are crashing into the bottom to the chines of the boat versus the side of it. And what you can see instantly, and I know it's gonna be bumpy, is how much smoother and how much drier of a ride you're gonna have because it literally tips that boat away from the waves. Okay, so the next scenario I wanna talk about is if you're in a following sea, basically going with the waves and the use of the trim tabs there. Now this is the scenario that you wanna really pay attention to too much because what you don't wanna have happen is if you're in big following seas, you put those tabs down too much, but you wanna figure out that happy medium. So when I'm going down wave, what I wanna do when I get it up on plane is you're gonna obviously find that in any hull with the following sea, the boat's gonna hop just a little bit. And by simply using the tabs and putting both of them down, what it's gonna do is it's gonna glue your boat to those waves a little bit more. But like I said, don't overdo it. If you overdo it and the waves are really big, that's when you can start spearing waves. But what the tabs will do in a following sea is it'll glue your boat to the water more it won't jump and pound nearly as hard and you'll be able to get to your spot more comfortably. So let me show you that right now. Okay, so as soon as we take off, going straight down, what you're gonna wanna do is on the joystick, just go straight down with both tabs and you can see how instantly, instead of it hopping a lot, it just settles the boat out flat. So that's exactly what you want to do. Like I said, just don't overdo it in following seats. Now the last scenario I want to talk about, we've already done quartering waves, we've done following seas. You're going to have to go to some spots dead into the waves sometimes and that's really where your equipment gets beat up. But what you want to think about in this situation is it's very similar to following seas in terms of trim tab use. What I want to do and why I want to use the trim tabs going directly into waves is simply to steady the boat out. Instead of it pounding in, what you want to do is you want to kind of flatten that boat out 
so it's glued to the water a little bit more. You're gonna reduce the pounding, you're gonna get to your spot faster, and you're gonna be a lot more comfortable. So really, what Power Trans done is they've made the use of trim tabs very simple for the angler with the use of this joystick. I mean, literally, just pay attention to the way the boat's tipping and following and into seas, you're just putting both tabs down a little bit so the bow of the boat tips in quartering waves or if you have you know a couple people on one side of the boat and your boat's listing one direction just make sure that you're always tipping your boat away from the incoming wave and you'll have a much better time out on the water even when the conditions are pretty brutal.